Let me get straight to the point, yeah? The wait is finally over. Yes, it's been a long time coming. But you are about to watch the season finale, Badman 10. And uh, you know what? It's crazy because every time I, I do these videos, uh, these episodes, I always leave a video message talking about how tired I am and how, you know, this is, this is the hardest project I've ever done in my life. You know, and it is. And today is no exception. However, um, when I read the comments, um, there will always be those killer three words that kill me. Make it longer. And I'm not gonna lie, it kills me. Cause I'm like, what? The last one was like maybe an hour long. But I listen to you guys, and you know what? Because you guys, you guys have been so patient for wait, waiting, I think over six months for this episode, I have gone out of my way and I have made a movie. That's right, this video is, I think, an hour and 25 minutes long. That's, that's, that's movie time. This is a movie and this is for you guys. So please, I understand that this is probably the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. Would I do it again? Probably not, but it's for you guys, so yeah, I would. And um, if you haven't seen Badman 1 to 9, guys, stop what you're doing right now. Just stop, watch them, go back and watch them, and then watch this video. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. And all I want is, first of all, to go on Twitter and hashtag Badman10, and even if I get seven of them, I'll be happy. And more importantly, the only thing I ask from you, really, is yeah like the video and also subscribe that's all i want just take time out of your busy schedule before this video starts and subscribe spread the shit out of it on instagram at humza production but just subscribe and hopefully one day when i'm like 72 we will finally get those million subscribers even though i think it's probably going to be when i'm 73. i don't think i'm gonna last till 73. I'm not moaning, I'm not fussing, just don't wanna marry my cousin. You say she's the one and Uno, but she look like a like Bruno. She's got a moustache, no, that's long. She's got triceps, no, that's long. Six pack on her forehead, that's long. She's only seven, no, that's wrong. Seriously, jam that hype. I'm me, I'm me, loud that hype. Loud that, loud that, loud that hype. Cause I'm a G, seriously, you're too hype. I'm me, jam that hype. Seriously, I'm me, jam that hype. I'm me, I'm me, jam that hype. Cause seriously, pledge is jam that hype. Can I ask you what you guys did to Evil after I left? No, you can't. All you gotta understand is he's a bad person. He did bad things. And bad things happen to bad people. She's in a safe place. Yeah, of course, I got rid of the body. She's gone. And you haven't told anyone, have you? We are getting a divorce. Your boss stole 20 grand off me. And now I'm in debt, yeah, to some guy who calls himself, you know, Vapor, Vape Smoke or Smokey. I don't even know what his name is, fam. I know. That's why I'm not with them no more. I'm waiting for K now. Oh, look, it's the guy I took the piss out of. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Yeah. Someone's taken one of my cars and he's disappeared. It's because of your cousin, innit? What do you mean, buddy? I heard some guy roughed him up at his office the other day. She's still missing. I was thinking I should go to the police. What the hell are you doing here? How do you even know where I live? Sit down. V's in charge now. V? Your men, your trap houses, your guns, your girls, it all now belongs to me. So, man. 
TJ's in control now. You, uh, your family, <laughs> dead by the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? We need to talk. No, please. No. Oh, I told you, I don't want to speak to you right now. Alright, first of all, why are you so strong? Okay, are you taking steroids? And second of all, you look very different. I can't put my finger on it. You're wearing contact lenses, isn't it? No, I cut my hair. What? Oh, you love your long hair. Why did you cut it? Now you just look like a cameraman from a shepherd's bush. Well, maybe because of you and the fact that I've got people trying to kill me. It's not even that deep. What do you mean it's not even that deep? Did you hear me? There are people trying to kill us. Listen, okay, I've already figured out. You just need to relax, okay? So what's the plan then? Well, first of all, me and you are both heavily disguised. So no one's really gonna notice us anyway. I've got my short hair, but what's so different about you? I've got my cousin to wax my chest. How is that a disguise? I don't know, but it hurt. But anyway, the point is, I got this. No. You don't have this. It's way out of control now. And the only option left is for me to leave. I'm going back to Dubai. Tonight. So you're leaving me? I want you to come with me. I mean, look how much trouble you've gotten into. He lost a Ferrari, 20 grand in debt, his dad's disowned you and he's kicked you out. And now we've got really dangerous people after us and they have a lot of power. So come with me. We can make a fresh start. Me and you. I can't. Yes, you can. I can't, okay? I've messed everything up and I need to fix it. And I need to find TJ. I need to find him right now. No, you're such a typical guy. I mean, is that what you care about? He hurt your pride, so now what? You need revenge. It's not just that, okay? Then what is it? He killed Jasmine! He killed her! He's hurt a lot of people close to me. He's hurt my cousin, he's hurt my sister, and he's not gonna stop until I stop him myself. How, how could you keep that from me? How could you keep this from me? How? How? Get out! Get out! I'm going to call the police. I suggest you leave them to find TJ. Because if you don't, TJ is going to kill you. Goodbye, Nisa. Good afternoon, Creed Properties. Oh, Mr. Patel, how are you, sir? Oh, they're very good, very good. I'm just enjoying the sun in Dubai, sir. How are you? Uh, money's yes, 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 sir. Of course, your money's ready, but unfortunately, I'm in Dubai, so I'll be back next year. So we'll have your money ready then, sir. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, go, 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 sandstorm. <gasps> What the hell? Can you even masturbate? Really? That's the first thing that goes through your head when you see this? No, what happened? Are you okay? Uh, I mean, what happened, man? Oh, you okay? Oh, oh, man. It's too late now. Look. So obviously you're disabled now, innit? So what I was thinking is, you know, maybe I could help you make some money. I don't want to listen to any of your dumb business plans. Here's my business plan. Okay, so we should sell 
footwear. Now you're probably thinking, wow, Hums are so good looking. And also, what a great idea. And you're also probably thinking, oh, I am really sure. Maybe I should, you know, buy some Timberlands. Where are you going with this? Now, I know what you're asking. Where are we going to get the supplies from? No, I did not ask that. That's a good question, my brother. We are going to get it from the mosque. Hear me out, hear me out. Now, obviously, certain brothers here, they go Juma on Fridays. Mashallah to them and that. Now, when they go there, they leave their trainers, their, their, their sandals, their shoes. Some of them even leave their socks. So we roll up with a few bin bags, get as many pairs as we can in the Juma carts, dust that, sell them each £10 a pair. And hopefully, inshallah, let's, let's make the war. If we get one Giuseppe or one Yeezy, then, bruv, we are going to be laughing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really? Oh, yeah. Are you making dua for this plan? Does it look like I'm making dua for this plan? It actually does, that's why I asked. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? What? Korea, are we gonna go and do this? Juma. So what about your Juma? You don't, I, I do Juma on Thursdays yeah. because Fridays is always packed. I've got a better idea. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah, but I just want you to know because I, I, I feel that you're judging me. Yeah, I, but unfairly though, innit? What I'm saying is, what I'm gonna do is, like, when I go to the mosque to steal the shoes and that, um, I'm gonna give back as well. So you know that bucket that they pass around and you put money in? So I'm gonna leave like a tenner in that bucket. You know that bucket? Yeah, my hands. No, no, I get five pounds or... No, but I probably, I probably leave a couple of... You know what, I might not leave any money, but my intentions, bro, is... is bro, I've got to leave, bro. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I've got a better idea. Yeah. You ready for this? Okay. Why don't you go on top of a building and jump? But then I would die. Exactly. Anyway, look. The reason why I came, obviously, also was to, to see how you're doing, and I wanted to know, uh, you know, what happened. What happened? TJ. TJ did this. I know you know him, and I know you know what happened to her. And because these guys are dangerous. Believe me, I know you've got problems with them. And if they find you, it ain't gonna be good. <laughs> In a long time. Where's your manners, fam? Are you gonna shake his hand? I'm looking for your cousin. Let go of me! It's the wrong ass. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Do you know where he is? No. Well, we're gonna go and look around there and see if you're lying. And I hope and pray for your sake that you're not. So you're into properties, yeah? I always wanted my own office to be fair. I feel like every established criminal should have his own office. But I like this one to be honest. <laughs> like it's mad like I saw a TV right there on the wall just like that. And like if this was my office I'd have my desk right over there, just like that. And if this was my office, I'd keep my stash here. I told you he's not here. Can you keep a secret? Even if 
He's not here. He is still in a lot of trouble, mate. Hello. Take a seat in my new office. Outside, isn't it? Where are you? Ah! Hey, damn! 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 You a gin? Because if you are, yeah, I've got some bunny zums and pepper spray in my pocket and I know how to use it, cuz. No. I thought that Smokey, um. No, he didn't kill me. He didn't even hurt me. He just locked me in a room for a couple of days and. just let me go. So nothing happened? Like, he just let you go? Yeah, pretty much. What, no one like slapped you about a bit? Or like electrocuted your nipples? Or I don't know, like bummed you sideways while spitting some Stormzy bars? No one slapped me about. No one harmed my nipples. No one bummed me while they were spitting Stormzy bars. What about Skepta bars? I'm confused. Just as much as you. He just told me to lay low for a couple of days. He just let me leave. You wanna go top golf then? So, you, you think after everything that you've done to me, you, you snitched on me, trying to get me killed, you think, okay, oh, oh, okay, let's go and play some golf. What about bowling? Come to think of it, give me one reason, give me one reason why I shouldn't just deadlock right now. Five percent of bowling with your third game. Oh no, I think it's for coffee actually. But oh, shit, wrong coffee. I got a cramp. I got a cramp, man. It's so violent. Said I got a cramp. You gin. I'm sorry, bro. I, I shouldn't even be angry. I was the one to try to kill you first. You have every right to get revenge. I know you're going through a lot of trouble right now. But I just want you to know. I got you, bro. I got you, B. First of all, I don't know why you're out of breath. It was only one punch. You should really go to gym. And second of all, when Smokey... Smokey took you away, I was dying inside, bro. Never regretted anything more in my life. And, and even though you did try to kill me, you were still once my friend. You did warn me not to get into this world and I just guess. I guess I should have just listened. You know, Vida man got smoky.
Hey, I want to speak to the boss, man. Shut up, bruv. And you, man, got a manager or something? Look at you, man. You don't even look important. He said, shut up! Oh. Stand on that. Keeps asking to see someone, bro. Oh, we got the waiter in time. I have an order. You have an order? A shisha. I want double apple and mint. Please. Chop chop. Send the time to get cheeky. <sighs> Look, man, just call V down. Tell him I want to talk to him real quick. I'll even let him have a couple of talks on my shisha. Listen, V won't be joining us today, unfortunately. He's giving me close instructions not to kill you. He feels I can get a lot more information out of you. I ain't telling you shit. Oh, don't worry, Smokey. You will do. For now, though, enjoy your stay, and I will see you soon. Who the hell are you, anyway? Friends. V's new right-hand man. Hey, yo, Prince. The guy said on the firehouse wants to arrange a meeting with you later. Good. You don't drown by falling in water, you drown by staying there. But I need to figure out how. How do I get out of this mess and make things right again? And even if I feel that there's no hope, that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. But what I do know is that God works in mysterious ways. And whenever you feel that you're in the dark, when you least expect it, a small tiny light will turn on. Hamza, I've been looking for you everywhere, man. Look, we should talk, okay? What's this? It's an intermission, bro. You mean an intervention, you idiot? Oh, my bad. What's an intervention? It's when your closest friends get together to stop someone. In this case, we're stopping Hamza from doing his bad actions. Do they have biscuits at these interventions? Look boys, we need to talk. What do you want to talk about? You guys are not my friends. You forgot about me. There's a reason why we kept away from you, bro. It's because you changed. You're not the same person you used to be. No, I ain't. Bro, I am the nicest guy you will ever meet in your life. Bro, you tried to kill me a week ago. Oh shit, you're here. Um, you know, that was, that was a one-off, guys. Didn't you go to jail for nearly killing someone with a gold club? Why is Dexter on Skype? My mum said I'm not allowed outside the house until I finish my homework. What homework? Your grown man, you finished school years ago. That's what I keep telling her. Listen, okay, when I went to prison, none of you guys visited me. Even when I came out, okay? At the end of the day, friends are supposed to be there for one another, through thick and thin. And none of you were, none of you. You're right, we feel so bad. I said friends, you're not included in this. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> Look, we're sorry. We all had different reasons for drifting apart from you. Some of us were progressing in our career. Some of us were banned to see you from their parents. Some of us were running scared. And some of us drifted away and started hanging around with different people, but didn't really make much of a difference because they weren't part of the group anyway. Are you referring to me? And some of us had our uh, legal issues. Stupid immigration and the rules. And some of us were obviously a little bit more concerned about their health. And you want some? Look, all we can do is say sorry. We want to get things back to the way they used to be. You know, we want to be there for you, man. Yeah, that's what boys are for. Dexter, I told you, we are not boys. Ask can you please close the laptop? No way, I could change. I missed you guys. I just, I just wish you guys were there when I needed you. Well, look, we're all here now, bro. And we've got your back, that's the most important thing. And if you let us, We'll all prove it to you. Is no one gonna have a go at him for trying to kill me? If anything, bro, it's made me respect him even more. I agree. There's no way to speak to your boy like that. 
I'm an integral part of this group. Who is he? I think he's here for the integration. It's intervention, you dick. What did you say, Hansa? Thank you. Right now, tell us what the hell's going on with you. Yeah, man, Sammy said you're in some crazy trouble. We are here to help. But if it has anything to do with paperwork or walking, maybe not. I want to apologize also. What, for eating the candles on my birthday cake when I was 16? No, I don't regret that. You were in hospital for a whole week. No, I said I don't regret it at all. But anywho, I'm sorry. I have a secret to tell you. I already knew about Yasmin and TJ many years back, but I never had the guts to tell you. Forgive you. Give me a tenner. Hurry up. Mm, man. This is so dirty. Anyway, look guys, there is so much we gotta catch up on. But the thing is, I've gotta sort a few things at first, okay? Just gotta, just gotta make things right again. You bought me Smokey. I now have his trap houses, his weapons, his supplies. I'm impressed. Yeah, remember our deal. I want in. Deal? What deal? You promised if we went. In Promise? Let me just check something. Prince, do I keep my promises? No, sir. Uh, look, all we want is don't you dare. If I haven't given you permission to speak to me, don't speak to me. All right, I will have you 10 feet in the ground. Do you understand? Being serious, boys. I'm only joking. What? Don't you have a sense of humor? So we're in. You're in. Both of you. We'll start by giving you four postcodes in London. You do well. Then after three months, we'll give you more. If not, we'll replace you. Simple. I want seven. Sorry. When did this become a negotiation? What are you doing? I said, I want seven. You know what? I like you. But you told me when you get smoky, you tell me why you wanted to join. Because you, you know I killed your brother. You know that I left you to rot whilst I reaped the rewards of your brother's doing. So, tell me, TJ, why? Why do you want to join? You killed my brother. You did what I was going to do eventually anyway. 
You did me a favor. All I want is power. I don't want money. I don't want girls. Just power. Then it's power that you get. But TJ, if you cross me, TJ, if you cross me in any way, then I will show you mine. Now leave. By the way, you got a really nice house. Follow them. Give them anything they want. And when they've worked hard, when they have worked their asses off trying to prove to me that they belong, kill them. No problem, sir. Yo! What are you doing here, bro? Why are you watching porn on a balcony? Who does that? That's not even the point. How did you get into my house? I smashed through the window. I was going to climb through it, but I'm not good at climbing, so I just used the spare key that you gave me. I just went through the door. I should have done that from the start. To be Do you want to stop watching porn in public, bro? Hello? Yeah. Do you want to put it off? Okay. What if I was here naked with a girl? What? I could have been in here naked with a girl on the bed and you just bowled into my house? Uh, I don't think that would ever happen. Uh, excuse you? I'd have you know I'm a ladies man. I had to put no DMs in my Instagram bio. Didn't work. Girls still message me. But I did my part. Okay, the thing is Rebecca. Oh wait, wait, wait. I don't want to be called Rebecca anymore because for some reason some people seem to think that Rebecca's a girl's name. I don't know why, that's wild to me. But to avoid confusion, I'd just rather be called by my nickname from now on. Alright, cool. What's your nickname? Katie. Huh? Katie. You mean like the letter K and the letter T, right? No, that doesn't make any sense. K A T I E. K E. Trust me. Anyway, look, this is the thing. This is gonna be a shock to you, but but Ace backstabbed me and is working with TJ. Oh no, I knew that in every way. Okay. Um. Well, here's news to your ears. They are actually working under the... Information I was aware of prior to now. Right. Um, but they are trying to kill me. I know you've been worried. You must have been worried. Uh, worried is strong. Okay. I've decided that I don't want to be involved because I don't think it's my role to really just be like backstabbing and giving information on next man and stuff like that. But you're a snitch. I can see how that makes sense. Yet still, TJ has a pregnant forehead. He headbutts me, my whole world turns upside down. I don't want that because I don't like pain. Plus, it will ruin my hardcore Swedish good looks. I see you're from Sweden. No. Because you just said Swedish. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about this. Um, fine. You don't want to help me? Cool. But I do need one favor. I need to know where the rubber dingy riders are at right now. Oh, I can help you with that. I can snitch from afar. That's fine. Now, wherever they're at, find out. Text me the address, okay? No problem. Bro. Uh, I haven't left here, bro. Whenever you feel like leaving. Because I've got balcony work to do. Pray. Praying, praying is good, man. It has lots of benefits. Hear that? M1 on the B. Shit. <laughs>
straps on the ride like my rucksack. Tell me I'm boy, go ride, go touch that. Real shit, I only tell man one sack. Double tap torch, bros, hats guy got man. Six man in a stolen car, blacked out windows, got tints, torn off stick. No foot chase, that's long, so my niggas done shots from the whip. Please don't run and please don't lack. Violent goons, a serious batch. She thinks I'm cute, she must be mad. Silly dumb bitch must come with a catch. One, two step, prior militant box. Broken true with a sawn off dots. Talking loads, yeah, they're speaking lots. But the kid stuck off when he saw that mop. I'm an end gang baby, I love my bits. Figure a spoon from the 156. Add that shit, that's still gang bits. Alright, listen here, Persian kebabs. Okay, we have a problem. You know that Lambo that you stole from me and my friend? It's, yeah? a, it's a Rari. It's oh, a... yes, Nissan. Ferrari, whatever it is, okay? I need that back because some dangerous people are after us because we lost the car. And if we don't get that car back, I'm gonna be real with you. Me and my boy, obviously, are gonna beat the shit out of not just you two, but everyone in this vicinity. <laughs> I am a yellow uh, belt in Kakondo. Yeah, I, I will slap people I am, in the ankle. I, I'm not his boy. I, no, we are not. I will spit at people. No, I'm gonna no, spit. We're, we're not gonna do that. Listen, I sold that piece of shit. And I suggest you and your boys do one before you get out. If I don't get the car back, then they're gonna kill my friend. That's not our problem. Now piss off or do we yes, Trap, trap, get a pack gone. Trap, trap. Late nights in them alleyways where them rats are. Cold. Them actors need a backstar. Tea house where them cats are. <laughs> bang, bang from a black car, then we dash off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, we, 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 got, we got no problem. <laughs> What's taking you so long, man? Listen, where are you? It's too big for me here, man. Hurry up and come, man. Bye. Sammy. You're Sammy, right? Well, I don't know, bro. Depends who's asking. <laughs> oh, Sammy. But you know, I just think of burning, like, burning rubber on that, man. But you mean condoms? No, man, burning tyres, wheel spins. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Anyway, look, I've got a bone to pick with you. Why did you stop, man? Because I was about to do a Jackie Chan on everyone, you know what I'm saying? Bro, they were like 50 man deep, they would have got bodied. Raph, did you draw pizza? Because if you do, you have to pay for it. I can't pay for it because I got a card, but it's not gonna work because I'm on overdraft. It's just PC or pagans, you know. Oh, why would I order a pizza? Because I'm a guest and you should feed me. Shut up, shut up. Uh, who, who is it? Good morning, dickheads. I find that very offensive. It's the afternoon, actually. Who are you, bruv? I wouldn't do that if I was you. Sit down. Shit. 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 I want you both to hug each other. Okay. What? Hug. Hug me properly, man. Are you hugging your people? Okay, see, you and Sammy lost Kay's car. And Kay, in a nutshell, hired me to kill you both. That, that means I'm alright doing it, yeah. What? Shut up! Listen, I have Sammy, and now I have you. How did you find us here? I'm very well connected. But here's the thing. I don't like to kill people. You can tell by the gun. Because the last time I killed someone, I couldn't sleep for one whole night. Just one night? You see, killing people isn't my style. I'm a businessman. And I have a proposition for you. Uh, just to let you know, I'm not sucking anything, but Abel has really nice lips. Bro, shut up, bro. I saw a coup myself. Shut up! You're giving me a headache! Yeah, shut up, you're giving me a headache too, man. You shut up as well. Okay, okay, cool. Look, the Ferrari, back within 24 hours to me. And if it comes back, Sammy can live. You and your boyfriend live your fairy tale. Everyone's happy. What's in it for you? 20 grand? It's always 20,000, isn't it? It's like, there's a common number, haven't you noticed? Okay, uh, you, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out, we'll, 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 we'll get it done for you. Good. Because if you don't, I'll have to have another sleepless night. And I hate staying awake. Good night. I told you, it's the afternoon.
I like this jacket. Nice jacket, isn't it? Really nice jacket. Look, are you going to sign the divorce papers or not? You know what I don't like about you? I don't like the fact that you have more hair on your leg than me. I mean, are you part wolf? Like, do you shave your legs with a, with a toothbrush? I think you can go outside without no bottoms and people will say, Hey, I think she's wearing her leggings. This is your problem, you know? I think you need to get checked. You know what I don't like about you? What? Your black toe. It's amarul. It's actually dark green and it looks like the result of witchcraft. You know, you walk around the house without socks like you're trying to promote your diseased antichrist looking foot. You know your cookie is a shit. And you are overweight. Your spaghetti tasted like intestines. And you don't have a chest. You have breasts. You look like Auntie Tanzil without a dupatta. Well, I should have married her. Well, your roti was never round. It looked more like the bird's eye view shape of New Zealand. Your belly looks like it's about to give birth to a whale. And your biryani tastes like a test to babies. Not one baby, three babies. That's why I say babies, not baby. Your morning breath is just like your afternoon and evening breath. Do you eat shit all the time? I only eat shit when you used to cook. And let me tell you something. Your mom looks like Devanand. Hey, too far. It's true. She looks more like Devanand than Devanand. You know what your problem is? Yes, I know what my problem is. It's you. It's the bloody woman. No, your problem is that you are too stubborn and you have too much pride. But regardless of that, you know I still loved you very much. But there comes a point where if there is no change in time, then for me, now it's time for change. Sign the papers and send it to the post. Goodbye. I loved you too. What's your name? My name is Shakya Maaf. <laughs> oh, right. I was just asking your name. That's all. That to be sent me. Are you alright? Is something troubling you? I'm sorry. I didn't know I had a six year old midget counselor on standby. Whoa. I'm not six. And I was just asking a question. You know, my brother always says to keep calm because pain makes you stronger, fear makes you braver, and heartbreak makes you wiser. Thumbs up! Get your hairy ass here! You're up! How does he know it's hairy? Well done. Great work, yeah? I'll be back in a sec. Oh, boys. Look, it's the little girl that thinks she can do a man's sport. What do you mean? Girls can box too. <laughs> Girls can box too. <laughs> Stop it. No, I'm actually serious. Stop it. My brother's waiting me outside. <laughs> My breath, does it hurt? It does what hurt? Oh. Oh. What the hell is going on? What did you do to him? Basically what happened was yeah. He... Enough! I don't condone this type of behaviour in the gym. 
You're nothing but trouble, you know. Get out. Just go! I went for a jog in the morning to clear my head and to lose the flab on my love handles. I had the end of the day to get the Ferrari back or they would kill Sammy. And even though I knew that there was no hope, once again when I least expected it, another light turned on. Bro, I don't want any trouble, man. Listen, the little girl that you helped at the gym yesterday, that was my little sister. So I just wanted to say thank you. No, no problem, man. Well, if there's anything I can do... Well, you can help me get the Ferrari back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen, bro. However, I could tell you who I'll shot it to and probably where they're gonna be later. Why you wanna act Don't like bro. Everybody putting in work and you got bad excuses. But when they call your number, where you gonna run, I wonder. Tie your lace, fix your face, I'm your fitness instructor. Run like a half flip, run like a half flip. Pull him in the back tip, pull him in the back tip. Run like a half flip, run like a half flip. Catch him, pull him in the back tip. Catch him, pull him in the back tip. What's up, man? George, check this poison. How? By tasting it, innit? Yeah, but if it's poison, then I'll die. Yeah, but that's the whole point, isn't it? And at least I know I'll be safe and it was poison. What the hell am I paying you for? Well, not enough for me to try poison for you. Fine, you know what? I'll taste it myself. Give it in. <sighs> Tastes a bit old and manky, but it's alright. Anyway. Ooh. Are you swallowing chewing gum, bro? I know why you're here. Do you? Yeah. You're here to congratulate me on my latest Karachi Playboy cover. I was sitting on a horse. Naked. What happened to the horse? Did he die? Yeah, how do you know? But anyway, the horse had its time. Was the horse old? No, it was a baby horse. But anyway, did I ever mention I'm such a big deal now, such a big star, I'm even bigger than Shah Rukh Khan. I think you're bigger than everyone, to be honest. Boss, I thought that kid that was working for us was supposed to deal with him. George, stop being a hater. You're so jealous of me because of all the female attention I'm getting. What? When? That girl that was in Nando chatting me up. She was the waitress. Yeah, but she was undressing me with her eyes. You see, everyone wants to see me naked bad man. Even my uncles. I can't explain why, but they want it. Okay, first of all, that statement is super worrying, okay? And second of all, the reason why I'm actually here is because I know that you brought the Ferrari off the Rumba Diggy Riders. Yes, you see, and I spent my money very wisely. I've got this vape shop, I bought four tons of premium desi ghee and that Ferrari, which is one of a kind. That's gonna make me a lot of money. That car originally belonged to some really dangerous people and me and my boy, we were supposed to look after it, but we got jacked. Now I know you have it now, but the thing is, if I don't give that car back, then they're gonna kill my mate. I once did a photo shoot. I was in a forest, naked, my whole body just covered in hot, sticky honey. Surrounded by wild bears. And the slogan was, be smart. How the hell has that got anything to do with what I'm saying? And second of all, how is you being naked in a forest, covered in honey, surrounded by wild bears, being smart? It's a metaphor. What's a metaphor? I don't know. Listen, look, I know you've got the car. Please, just give it back, okay? Let me make this very clear. Last time, I sold 20 grand from you, which is still in the bag in the back. By the way, George, we want me to put it in the safe. Okay, cool. Boss? Yeah? Put it in the safe. Not now, you idiot. Later, you know, when I naturally forget. Anyway, I've taken your money and I've taken your Ferrari, which is safely parked in the bag. Now, bad man, I'm going to take your life. Okay, Pop. Who said I came alone? Quick, George! Someone's taking the Ferrari! Quick, what am I doing? Yes, boss! Run you idiot! Such a clown! Oh. I'm 
film, did he? Yeah, about that. You see, the gum wasn't uh, any ordinary gum. I kind of added the horse tranquilizers to it. And also, I just added a little bit of crack poisoning too. You know, for flavor. You little shit. You're lucky I did leg day last month. I was able to go up and strangle with you. Thanks for the borrowing. And by the way, uh, I might just take back the 20 grand that you took from me too. So, thank you. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Hey guys, I've got this. Drink this. I recognize you, you know. Hurry up, man, just drink it. I know you. Nico. What the hell are you doing here? I work for Vino. So let me get this straight. I let you go. Start your new, fresh, legit life. So why the hell are you here? Man, no one's to employ a guy with a criminal record and a bad rep. It's hard out here, man. I need peace on back to doing this shit. So why did you just come back to me? I was embarrassed. I thought you'd laugh and take the piss. Probably. Trust these running things around here, man. It's mad. You know I let you go. Now it's time you do the same for me, bro. Let me get out of it. Come. Look, kill me. What Prince? That lanky dickhead. Yeah, well, even worse, TJ. He's running shit now, man. V gave him a lot of power. Fact is, you owe me. I got you out. If you can't get me out, it's fine, bro. But I need you to do me one favor. Innit? Look, man, they got my stuff in this building and my mobile phone. I'm gonna give you a name. I need you to text them my location, and that's all. You got it? Thank you, you're a nice guy. Now where is he? Hamza? Assalamualaikum. Get me out! Shut up! What's that smell? I might need that fiver back. Why? He's shitting my car! Man, get out of the car! Don't touch me, you got shit on you. Even though Sammy shit himself, I was still happy that he was back. Avil then decided to go back and have a drug dealer nap. But what we didn't realise was another light unexpectedly turned on. We found Smokey's location. However, this opportunity would come at a very high price. Hamza, I know a smoke is. Wrong way down the one way Never knew a nigga had dreamed though True 
say I did it with ease though. I'm number time, no one would fucking listen. Had to get myself up and out the kitchen. No more pirate vision now. More like checks and we're skipping clouds. At this rate, little man will never have to worry about your pops ever sitting down. Uh. Wrong way down a one way. Wrong way down a one way. Wrong way down a one way. Road rage that you want me. Let's go, B. Yo, 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 Oh, that's freaking hurt! Oh, shut up, bro. Shut up, hey. Yo, bro. Yo. Bro. Hey. You. Who is this? Listen, bro, listen. We're here to get you, bro. Thank God, it's you, bro. Yeah. Here to save you. What the fuck is he doing there, bro? Disrespect. Thumbs up. Get the gun and the belly and let's get out of here. Uh, but let's just make sure he's awake. He's... He's, he's awake, oh, man. Oh, Come. He's awake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You're right. Come in. Prince just called me. He told me there's a problem at one of our spots. No. I'm gonna sort it. You damn right you will. They took Fippin Smokey. They killed some of our men and they ruined our gunship. That was supposed to make me a lot of money. Look V, I promise I'm gonna find out who did this. It will be dealt with. And where's TJ? He should be here. The police are onto him right now, so he's just staying at one of my spots. But it's his fault. He was running that postcode. It's his fault, it's your fault. And where the hell are the rest of my men? I told them to go out for a bit. Why'd you do that? So I could follow out teacher's orders. And what's that? Why? 
why are you laughing? Don't you have a sense of humour? <laughs> Look, whatever it is that you want, it's yours. Just please, don't kill me. I ain't gonna kill you. I just need you to understand a few things. You have a good understanding, right? From now on, me and TJ are on top. You see the food chain? We're up here, and you are down here. Do you understand that? Yeah. Good. There is another thing. I always did say, you have a really nice house. It's yours. Oh, that's, that's really kind of you. You're a really nice guy. You got any children? Yeah. I've got a little girl. Do you see her much? No. I need you to understand that you could have died today. And you would have died not seeing your daughter enough. What I want you to do from this day on, I want you to enjoy life. When I let you go, I want you to go to your daughter. I want you to take her out. I want you to hug her. I want you to enjoy yourself. Do you understand? Life is short. Now go. <laughs> so stupid. What a waste of a nice suit. <laughs> Yo, TJ. He's done. He's dead. Good. Yeah, bro, we finally made it. Rich. Bro. We run London now. You're talking about this bad man, you. Born bad man, enjoy our victory, innit? Nah, I've got one more thing to do. Hey, listen, don't, don't mess this up for me, you know? TJ! Oh my god, I can't believe I fired a gun. Do you think I killed anyone? No. Like you completely missed everything and everyone on site. Oh, that's a good thing. Avil, how are you feeling? I've been hitting the shoulder. <sighs> but I'll survive. Don't worry about him. Like, I'm gonna get him checked out, yeah? Alright, well, um, are you gonna say thank you? For what? Uh, for saving your life, smoker? It's Smokey! Whoa! Like how many times do I have to remind you my name is Smokey? Like what actually goes on through that thick head of yours? Like you stupid. Like you've probably even already forgotten you dumb piece of shit. You man, you man stop arguing! I've been, I've been shot! <coughs> Look, I just got one question, okay? Why didn't you kill Avil? Like, like why did you let him go? He's already learned his lesson, ain't he? Furthermore, imagine if I killed him. You would have gone all psycho in your head. Like, look at you. You're fragile. So that means you care. Oh, I feel a hug coming. Piss off, man. Hmm. Go hug yourself in the corner or something. What corner, though? You know what I've been thinking? I'm going to do something I should have done a long time ago. 
See this life, bro. It's not for you. I'm gonna give you the chance to leave. To leave the gang? Bro, you gotta understand, man. That like, you're a good kid. You don't need none of this. Go live a good life. Now get out, what are you waiting for? Before I change my mind. Thanks, Smokey. I finally got my friends back. I fell still alive. I paid off the 20 grand, gave back the Ferrari and saved Sammy, rescued Smokey and now finally, he's allowing me to leave this world and return back to my original life. But what I didn't realize- Yo, what are you saying, fatty? It's dad. It's been an accident. Was the life that I'm returning back to has now changed. Hey, Hamza. Look, I know we don't talk much. And I know we're worlds apart. But you know I love you, right? I love you. Look, I know you've been through a lot. But no matter what happens with Dad, I really hope you don't disappear again. I really do need my big brother back. How are you feeling? What happened? Oh, this is bloody, bloody blind Kuta. He did it the car. Huh. So stupid. It was a uh, almost like he uh, did it on purpose. Did he not come out the car and, and call for help? No. He just got out the car and just watched me being there helpless. Then he left. Was he the guy that you put in hospital? The one who made you go to the prison and why you got yourself into all this trouble? Yeah, I think it was him. Well, in that case, Peta. Make sure you beat the shit out of him. And when you do, make sure you come home. Your mother and my sister miss you very much. We all do. This was the moment when everything changed. 
the moment when two doors opened and I chose the wrong one. I entered a world that brought me nothing but pain and misery. And from my retaliation, I created a new enemy, a monster who took everything away from me. He turned my own against me. He hurt my cousin, attacked my sister, killed the girl I loved, and now this. So I approached someone who knew where Tija was hiding out. He didn't want to tell me at first for my own safety, but he knew he had no choice. It was finally time to end it all. By the end of tonight, one of us will die. TJ! Come out! I'm here! Batman. Be gay. Let's go! Let's go! 
go! Come on! Let's go, man! Let's go! of your life tomorrow next week next year always remember that I beat the shit out of you twice you balls I'm sorry don't you walk away from me don't you walk away from me, Hamza. The packet! The packet, you coward! Go ahead and finish it! Ah! Oh! 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 It was finally over, and a new door had finally opened. I wanted to kill TJ, but I knew I had to do the right thing. And I knew that he will spend the rest of his life knowing that I was the one that finally put him in his place. Ace climbed up the ladder real quick, and now he was on top of the food chain. There was nothing that could stop him, and he finally got what he always wanted. The power, the cars girls, but most importantly, the money. Anissa informed the police about everything, and I think she went back to the bay. I tried to reach out, but she just disappeared, and I never heard from her again. I never got to say thank you for being there for me, when I needed you the most, but I miss you. One day, we'll meet again. Kay 
finally got his Ferrari back and the mysterious guy with the fur coat got his 20k. I really hope I don't see either of them again, but knowing my luck, I probably will see them sooner than they are. They found Yasmin's body and TJ was found and put away for a very long time. I loved you more than life itself, Yasmin, even if you didn't. But your presence in my life has taught me something valuable. When you fully trust someone without any doubt, you finally get one of two results. A person for life, or a lesson for life. Sometimes we concentrate on what has been taken away, but never appreciate what we still have. My friends. brothers, my family, and yes we've had our ups and downs, but honestly, I would rather walk with my friends in the dark than alone in the light. A young girl once said, keep calm, because pain makes you stronger, fear makes you braver, and heartbreak makes you wiser. They say that your hardest times often lead to your greatest moments of your life. Overcoming my inner fear is one of them because you must realize that everything you want is on the other side of fear. And now I look out and I realize that I may not be where I need to be, but Alhamdulillah, I'm not where I used to be. And the last thing that I've learned is that your mother, your mother was the door to this dunya, and your mother will be your door to Jannah. Take care of this door, cherish her, love her, take care of her, because you have to remember, she won't be there forever. And every light that shines in my life, nothing, and I mean nothing, shines brighter than a mother's love. Dal. Dal? That was sucks blood. You're so ungrateful. Shut up, man. You shut up. Hey, hey shut up, both of you, okay? I like your mother's 